So today in our kitchen, we have Leah, who's going to show me how to make a traditional roasted mutton and patty soup. So tell us a little bit about roasted mutton and patty soup. Please. It's um, a very typical Shetland dish. I would say it's a Shetland delicacy. It's definitely an acquired taste. And for those of us who grew up eating roasted mutton tatty soup, we all love it. But I wonder actually, do you like roasted mutton tatty soup? I do love roasted mutton tatty soup because I've had it many a times at Uphill Yard. And in winter times with the best that it goes with is bannocks. Yeah. So today we are going to show all of you have to make a really traditional. Is that your Nana's recipe? This isn't actually my Nana's recipe. This is a good family friend's recipe. So growing up, there was a lady that we went to her house every single new year. And traditionally in Shetland, you eat roasted mutton tatty soup first fitting at new year. So she would always have this big pot of roasted mutton tatty soup. And we just loved going to her house because in my opinion, she is tatty soup queen. So this is her recipe today. Amazing. So we'll just get started with it quickly and let's do this. So before we start off, we are going to show you the wonderful Shetland produce. And all this is grown from Shetland and is a Shetland product. Yeah. All of this. So you can't really make a traditional Shetland soup without Shetland ingredients. So actually, where have we got our carrots from today? We have got our carrots I brought it from Scoop, but they are from Turryfield, which is way up north, and they make these, as you can see, they make these beautiful multicolored carrots. Yeah. All grown at the farm. And these will make the soup so much sweeter and tastier. So it's definitely good to get locally grown carrots if you can. Yeah. And my friend from God Farm, Jody, has kindly donated the onions. So the ingredients are so fresh, it's literally come from the farm to our house. And this, I'm going to show you this, hold on. We got these onions. These are what actual onions need to look like, not the ones you get in Tesco. Amazing form, you can smell them. You got your carrots, still has mud on them. But amazingly delicious. You got your bressa tatties. There you go. And this has just come out the ground. This is a beautiful Shetland kale. Just look at the green color. Look at the purple. Absolutely beautiful. By the time our produce reaches us, it's like five days old, a week old. This is literally a few days old. This is a traditional Shetland crop. This is from Marion Armitage's garden. So this is roasted mutton. This one is from the Scowl Meat Company. You can buy it in a few different places in Shetland. Um, historically, they would have been made at home. The process takes about five weeks and today in Shetland, people still do this. So traditionally, you serve bannocks with roasted mutton tatty soup. That's maybe for another day. So we've just got these from the Waz Bakery for today and the tatties are from the island of Bressa. Amazing. So that's like a hundred percent. One hundred percent Shetland ingredients. Even the butter is from the dairy. Amazing. And we also have these beautiful carrots, which I forgot about, that's my mistake. It was in the fridge, given by Jody from God Farm. Make sure to check out everyone's Instagram and social media page, which will be in the comment section below. Right, so first things first, we need to get the mutton into the water, okay. bring it to the boil and leave it for up to two hours, okay. depending on how much time you have. The longer you leave it, obviously the tastier it'll be because the flavour will come out of the meat. And don't put it into boiling water, put it into water and bring it to the boil. So it's been two hours now. So all the flavour comes out of the mutton and, oh, I see. and mm -hmm. goes into the, the water. So then the soup is then boiled on that. There we go. So now that the mutton is out of the water, we're yeah. going to just let this cool at the side while we make the rest of the soup. And then at the end, the mutton, you can either shred it and have it on the side, okay. or you can shred it and add it back into your soup. It's a personal preference, Yeah. Um, but for me, I like to put it back into the soup. Okay. So the next stage is to just add the neeps, the carrots and the onion back into the water. Okay. But obviously the amount of water that we have in the pan here is too much. So what we need to do is remove some of that okay. before we put it in. And then as 
the soup cooks and the moisture comes off the soup, we add that back in. Okay. So you're not losing any of the flavor. Perfect. And then we'll add the tatties and we'll cook that for another 25 minutes. And that'll just all come together. The flavor from the mutton is gonna soak into all the vegetables and the tatties. And then all the lovely flavors from the fresh vegetables will come together as well. And it's such a simple soup, but as you know, it's so tasty. We'll give that 25 minutes, half an hour. That's ready to be mashed or not to be mashed. There's a great debate about, do we mash tatties in it or just leave them all and let them boil away? Yeah, so, at this stage, everything's nearly ready. It's the veg, the patties, everything's soft. So you could technically just dish it up as it is now and yeah. eat it. But some people like it like that and some people like it mashed. So I personally like it mashed, so oh. we're gonna mash it. And if you have had recent mutton soup before, you need to let us know in the comments. Do you like it mashed or do you like it just as it is? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Actually. Oh, I missed one there. You missed one. This is not good enough. This is not good enough. As you can see, that's it. Kind of half mashed. Yeah. So you've got some solid veg and the rest is all mashed in. And that's how I personally look at it. And I've cut up some of the roasted mutton and added it into the soup. So here we have a Shetland kale. Now, Traditionally, tatty soup gets a cabbage on the top at the end. Um, I've got this lovely Shetland kale to use at the end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these leaves, set them on top, steam them, um, they'll reduce down, and then they'll get shredded through the soup. And that's not really done so much nowadays, but it's um, definitely a more traditional way to make roasted mutton tatty soup. Person I know that still does this is my nana, and as she says, that's just the old way. So no. that's just obviously what they they used to use, um, maybe to add extra nutrition or to use up another vegetable. Uh, but yeah, you're right; it's not really hard of nowadays. But I think it's important to 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 do it the traditional way. Yeah. The cabbage, the kale, or whatever they would choose to use would have been harvesting at the same time as yeah. what, what you're making the soup. So I guess it was for them, it's just an additional thing to get in there. Some yeah. nutrition and use up some crop. So this will be your first time trying it with Yeah, with kale, kale like yeah. the proper traditional way. I'm yeah. excited for this. Good. Shredded the kale. We're just going to lay it on top of the soup. Put the lid back on mm -hmm. and just steam it for a few minutes. That kale will be ready now. You can see. The kale has wilted down quite nicely. So if we just mix that into the soup. Good yeah, no, it's beautiful. Inside. This is a, a shitling kale, so they're unique. So yeah, you can see how lovely that looks. And it's another way to use kale. Exactly. That's a very unreasted mutton and daddy soup. Obviously you have your soup, but then you also have your bannocks. I've served these up. So you can either just have a bannock, dunk it. Lots of people just do that. Or it's quite traditional to have meat on a bannock. So in Shetland, then you can either have your roasted mutton, just like that, or you can have salt beef as well. You oh, quite see. often see that as well. Clean them with butter, put some meat on them or just dunk them. Mm. Perfect. So what was your fondest memory of having roasted mutton? For me, it's just so normal to eat this, so yeah. it's not the kind of thing that I would really have like a particular memory of. Yeah. But I guess in, when you say the word fondness, it brings me back to before the procession at Pelia, mm -hmm. we would go to Nana's, and that's when Nana would make yeah. her roasted mutton soup. So we would all go to hers before the procession, 
and get warm with a bowl of roasted mutton tatty soup wow. and wander in and go to the session. Yeah. So roasted mutton soup, is it just available all year round or can you, is it just like a few months in a year it's available in Shetland or you can get it? So typically roasted mutton is a winter food. Historically, they would have the roasted mutton through the winter because mm. it was a really good way of preserving Preserve, the meat. Yeah. So it is said yeah. that if roasted mutton is made properly, it can last up to five years. Oh. But I mean, in today's world, we don't really need to rely on something lasting yeah, five, five years, years with, yeah. with fridges and freezers. Yeah. So really, it is just people do tend to make their roasted mutton in time for Christmas, New Christmas. Year and up hill, oh, yeah. yeah. But you will be able to buy it, but the real stuff yeah. is the homemade stuff so. around that point in the year. Perfect. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and make sure to join Leah on her adventures on Instagram. Uh, all the links, description and recipes are in the description below. Thank you so much. Bye. So today in my kitchen, we had Leah from Shetland Islands with Leah. And she'll be showing me. And go she, again, go okay. again. Big deep breath. Don't fall, just say Leah. Okay. Today in our kitchen, we have Shetland Islands. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> but today in our kitchen, we wait, have- Wait, wait, that again? Cause I was like this. Right, okay. Oh. That bit. <laughs> ah, this pot's so big, I can't find it. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah. See, that's nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, is everything okay? Yeah. yeah.